This tank is the WZ111-4. This is a Chinese Tier 9 heavy tank. The map is Erlenberg in the Assault Defend mode. I'm on the defending team. What we're going to do is I'm going to drive over to here, and I'm going to defend from this position. And when the enemy advances, they're going to be way ahead of us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, and I'm going to get behind them, and I'm going to go around from behind, and I'm going to get four kills in this game. I'm going to do more than 2,000 damage. I'm going to do some blind firing, and uh, we're going to win this game. We're going to come back from behind, and we're going to have an amazing victory. So one of the things that I like to do when I play is to play from right on the right side. I'm going to point to it right now. Basically over here in this area. It's a great place to snipe from on this map. So for a vehicle like that, you want to shoot uh, HE rounds at him. I'm going to cross in through the water. You'll notice that I didn't repair my ammo rack, but I will. I'm just waiting to see in case I get tracked to conserve on the ammo rack a little bit. So I made it across. I did survive. I am a higher tier tank, so I don't want to sit too far in the back. I'm pulling into a position. Repaired my, uh, my ammo rack. Wow, it would have been nice if I could have hit that tank. Okay, so I took that tank out of the game. That was a Skoda T-27, uh, Mr. Sniper Grambo. There is a better position. I don't want to be in this position. I just happen to be here. So there's an example of how I fired through the window, but I didn't penetrate his armor. I switched to an HE round. You'll hear me talking about uh, being able to snipe through the windows over here. So I shot him through the window, and I did 216 damage shooting through that window. You see that there's a lot of allies that are also playing uh, along the river, just like I am. So you got a vehicle up there. So that obviously missed. That's an STRV. I'm actually going to blind fire at that STRV, and I'm going to damage him. I'm going to do 299 damage on a shot against that STRV. It's po that looks like it hit the tree. It probably didn't hit the tank. The first one had a splash, so it probably uh, also did not hit the vehicle. See, in that case, there was no splash. Didn't knock a tree down. There's a good chance that that was the one where I hit him blind firing for 299 damage. Or it could have been that shot. Uh, I got rid of all of my APCR rounds or heat rounds or whatever the premium round is. And this way I can blind fire a lot more often. Uh, so now I have a lot more regular rounds. It's a lot less expensive for me to do blind firing. You know, if I reverse, it's going to be a risky move, but I could take a tank out. A little bit sloppy. I did 199 damage on the VK. It's going to be very difficult for me to turn around. I am kind of a lazy player. I, I don't play like it's a clan battle or a rank battle. I just play a little bit lazy. Usually the enemy's not highly skilled. I did miss that shot. The Udis bounced off of me, so there's still an Udis up there. And there's a Yag D Tiger up there. Scores one to five. We are losing. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go and I'm going to get around um, and behind the enemy. I notified my team that there's a Yag D Tiger on the East Hill. Because he does a lot of damage. He does 560 damage. So I, uh, I guess I didn't damage that tank. I did 135 damage, but he looks like he's still in the game. 
Uh, he hit me for 287, unfortunately. Let's see if we can figure out how much damage he has. Oh, he's unspotted right now. Okay, we're going to check again. Where is that? He's got 16 hit points. So I left him with 16 hit points. I did think I was going to take him out of the game. The Yag D Tiger is now um, spotted. There's an ally who says, you know, just die and get it over. It's a huge mistake because we're going to win this game. Scores 2 to 7. And I'm making my move. I'm going to head all the way for the rear of the enemy. You just got to keep going, go as far behind them as possible, make it difficult for them to engage you in battle because they have to turn their guns 180 degrees in order to shoot at the tanks in front of them and the tanks behind them. So I'm coming up. The score is 3-8. to eight. He's out of the game. Prueba Kali, which I believe means try Kali. I, I happen to used to live in Kali. I lived in Kali, Colombia for about two years. was a great city to live in. Score six to nine. It's a little bit more even now. Got a tank with 11% hit points. Fortunately, I missed that shot. It was a key shot. We do have some enemy tanks that are a possible threat that are somewhat nearby, such as the T-28 prototype and the Object 432. It would really help if I spotted them because I do have allies who could damage them or possibly take them out of the game. All I got to do is really go out and do a spot over that river. Maybe I'll be able to see something. So I took the Yagdi Tiger. Papa Daz, 21, is taken out of the game. I got three kills. Scores 8 to 10. We really did a good job coming back. So I'm going to see, oh, look at that. The object 432 was spotted, so he's running out. I'm going to see if I can hit that Emil. I am not going to see if I can hit that Emil. I'm going to just keep driving randomly towards the back of the map. Scores 9 to 10. I got 42 hit points. They've only got two minutes left in the game. All I really got to do is run away. If I run away... We can easily win this game. As long as someone didn't come back here looking for me, they are not going to be able to win by capping at this point because they need time. They're going to need 30 seconds or more to get to the cap and then over a minute to cap. So you see, what I did was the right move. And, of course, you know, I'm going to live forever. See if we can take him out. I think he's going to make it. Luckily, he's going to survive. I don't think he lasts very long. I think I'm going to be able to take him out of the game. Oh, that was the shot that uh, I just barely missed. I should have taken the shot. It would have made a big difference. The problem that I have is that if there's an enemy tank in this area, he could take me out if I don't know where he is because there is one enemy tank that has not been spotted it is uh, the STRV 33 seconds left in the game we're probably going to win because we do have an STRV that's up in the A0, A0 area who will probably survive the game score is 11 to 11 let's see if I can get that SPG I was spotted. I should have reversed. I went forward. Wasn't thinking about what, where the STRV was. You can see that the Scorpion is approaching the base. And that's the game. It looks like the enemy STRV is, in fact, over here in the corner. It looks like there's a little red marker. We won the game. They failed to cap. They failed to kill all of us. We came back. Was it two to nine? Was that what the score was? Or two to eight?
got four kills. I did the right thing, running to the back, keeping me alive in the game, making it difficult. I, I got at least 2,100 damage. I might have gotten an additional 300 damage. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you how much blocked by armor I got. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.